How does Electric Limited ultrasonically weld splices? When making a wiring harness, many times two or more wires need to be spliced together. For years, the only way to do this was the clip and dip method, as shown in the top splice. To make the splice on top, a metal terminal was applied over the wire ends. The splice was then dipped in acid, a cleaning agent, and dip soldered. The newest technology is ultrasonic welding. To make the splice shown on the bottom, an ultrasonic welder was used. This means no terminal, no acid, and no solder. Yet the weld process produces strong, ultra-reliable welds that can be monitored with software to ensure that they are repeatedly accurate. Since the late 90s, ultrasonic welding has become the industry standard and is now required by GM, Ford, Chrysler, Mercedes, and all the major automotive manufacturers. Let's compare the traditional and modern way to splice wires. With the traditional method of splicing, or the clip and dip method, multiple wires were first held together with a metal terminal, as shown here. Then that splice was taken to a dip soldering station. There, the splice was first dipped into a cleaning solution to remove oils and oxidation, which would otherwise hamper the solder from adhering to the splice. Next, the splice was dipped into molten solder, shaken to remove the extra solder, and cooled in a neutralizer. This was the splice method that manufacturers used for years. The negatives to dip soldering is the possible introduction of acid and limited quality control. The splice method used today in automotive wiring harness manufacturing is ultrasonic welding, as shown here. So what is ultrasonic welding? Basically, high frequency sound, or ultrasound, causes rapid vibrations within the wires to be welded. The vibrations, up to 20,000 times per second, causes the wires to rub against each other. This friction raises the temperature at the wire's surface and sets the condition for the wires to form a molecular bond to one another. The software we use with our ultrasonic welder was custom written for Electric Limited. Once a splice's barcode is scanned, all of the proper weld parameters are downloaded to the welder's controller. Downloaded parameters are wire quantity, gauge, orientation to the weld, weld height before the weld, after the weld, the time used to make the weld, pressure, amplitude, energy put into the weld, and width of the weld. For quality control purposes, some of these parameters are monitored after the weld is made. So, for example, if a wire was inadvertently left out of a splice, a warning message will display and that weld will be rejected. Here is the ultrasonic weld made from a different angle. You can see the tooling compress the wires. Then the ultrasonics are applied. Once the tooling opens, you have a splice nugget of solid copper. Let's see that one more time. After the ultrasonic splice is made, it is covered with tape or a rubber mold per the original manufacturer's specifications.